So you have or planning to have a WordPress website and you want to add this spicy recurring income to your business with a membership site. So you need some advice, some tools, you are in the right place. Hello and welcome, Guna Malbera here and over the years we have built many, many membership sites for ourselves and our clients that have generated really sweet income. So. Some of our clients are in a way to having seven figure business. Some are running very successful six figure businesses and many are having stable recurring income starting from a couple hundred to finishing with a few thousand a month. So a strategy and good planning will play the biggest role of having a successful membership site, but we can't ignore tools. And let me say we have tested many. So to add a membership program to your WordPress site, uh, you will need a membership plugin. And the main job for this plugin is really to protect your content, to organize your members and access rights to see like who is getting uh, access and who is not, who have paid, who haven't, and collect recurring payments, of course, as well. So there are many options, but which one is the best one for you? There are actually two of the plugins that we are using daily for our clients uh, and it is MemberPress and WooCommerce memberships. So in this case, it is not about which is better as a plugin. It's more about what's the best solution for your business. Okay, so first let me introduce you with those two plugins. So the MemberPress is more a standalone membership plugin with everything you need to create really great membership program, including course builder uh, and so on. It is probably the most popular membership site plugin. So probably you will see it around and mentioned it a lot. It does everything. It uh, supports your members, it supports coupons, dynamic pricing pages, connection with all the popular payment gateways. Uh, it has forums and much more. Okay, so members um, also has a course creation and management capabilities, enabling you to make courses as a part of your membership model without having to license a separate platform uh, or learning um, management plugin, right? So it is a perfect option if you are going to have a membership site only. It has amazing functionality. It's specifically built for memberships. It is, uh, it has great price. So everything is perfect for having a membership site. Whereas WooCommerce membership is a premium extension available for WooCommerce plugin. So the plugin integrates your membership program directly with your store, making it easy uh, for you to do such things as offer uh, store discounts or discounts to members. Same like MemberPress, it supports coupons, payments and different integrations. So they are pretty similar in that way. Uh, WooCommerce is one of the most productive and amazing WordPress plugins and the plugin itself is free. So there is no kind of issue there, but you will need add-ons. So you'll have WooCommerce subscriptions and WooCommerce memberships because the membership plugin will actually secure your content. You will organize and do all of those things and subscription add-on will actually um, be able to collect those recurring payments. So financially, it will be more investment wise as you need two add-ons. And if you want some extra things, you will need them extra. So let's go and see and explore the similarities and differences between those two plugins. So let's start with similarities. You can create unlimited membership levels. You can restrict both categories and individual pieces of content with either plugin. Uh, both plugins make it easy to set up membership levels. You can create your first membership plan in a few minutes, really. Um, you can set up a uh, content drip if you want. Both plugins let you customize emails and different notifications. Um, also like different uh, different messages for different specific membership levels. Um, there is no transaction fees uh, with either plugin. That's a great addition. Um, so, so overall they, they function and work pretty similarly. 
but let's um, see what is different. So WooCommerce membership offers far more e-commerce related options for membership, such as um, ability to include products or provide members only discounts. So if somebody has a membership and they go to your store, you can set up that they see that, oh, this product has members only discount or it's already, the prices are displayed automatically. Or let's say um, if somebody is just visiting your store and they see all the products, there can be as well a message like, hey, you know, join a membership and you will have specific discount or this product um, is having the specific membership discount. So you can play around with, with that kind of marketing as well. WooCommerce memberships has slightly more streamlined process for creating membership levels and it's just a little bit more kind of straightforward in some cases. Uh, whereas MemberPress offers advanced plans and more features, uh, community building tools, um, visual course builder that's already in there. With WooCommerce, you would need to have a separate course platform if you decide to have courses within your membership or if you want to sell separately courses. Our recommendation is Learnish, so this is another tool that you need to add, um, but it's really worth it. MemberPress has built-in custom redirects on member logins. For example, on the third login, you can redirect member to specific offer, to specific page. So there is a lot of different kind of uh, upsell or bump order features within membership or let's say if somebody is there for months uh, there can be some uh, specific uh, additions that you can add which is pretty cool so overall they both are great options the main decision that you need to make is more about if your membership will be as a standalone offer on your website or you will want to sell other offers for example if you are wanting to sell digital or physical products, if you want to sell power hours or consultations, one-on-one -on -one calls, any separate courses next to your membership, then you want to go with WooCommerce memberships. That will be your best solution. But if you are going to mainly focus on membership and you only want to have membership, it will have a separate, or if you are having your membership on a separate website, uh, then your other offers, then you can go with MemberPress. MemberPress is more feature-packed, especially for community building, where WooCommerce offers you different kind of flexibility for your overall business strategy. So the main thing that you need to really consider is, is your membership will be standalone or on a separate website, or you're just focusing on membership, and then MemberPress is amazing. It will be more affordable. You don't need much more other tools. Um, it has inbuilt features already, so you will be good to go. If you do want to make it as a page where you have everything, which is your hub for your business, so you have your membership, you have your courses, you have your calls, you have your one-on-ones, you have your digital assets, templates, whatever you are selling, if you want to have it all in one website, then WooCommerce membership will be the best decision. And then you, of course, can add things like Learnish and other plugins and add-ons. Um, just a little reminder for your website, less plugins is better. <laughs> Do not overwhelm your website with a lot of different plugins. Uh, I'm not talking just in this case, like that you, are, you need WooCommerce subscription and membership and Learnish, that's all fine. But there is shiny object syndrome that somebody hears that, oh, I need this or I need that. And then there's tons of uh, different plugins on your backend, which are actually conflicting to each other, not making it smooth and overall just slowing down your website. So you don't need that. Um, but yeah, in, if you are choosing the membership plugin, either one of those are great. Just decide what are your goals what is your business strategy and go with one of them. You can also visit the link in the description and download your tech and design guide for your membership, as well as check our actual recommendations or upcoming events that you can participate to build the best membership site uh, ever and the most successful version of it. Can't wait to check out your community and let me know if in the comments when are you planning to launch your membership? I would really love to know and 
you have any questions, you are always welcome to reach out. See you next time.